since young children believe their thoughts and feelings are all powerful. They imagine that they cause bad things and may assume their parents drink because of them. A parent may even encourage this belief with remarks like, who wouldn't drink with a family like this? So, leaving the bicycle in the driveway, getting bad grades. Or thinking bad thoughts can lead, in the child's mind, to a parent drinking. One of the most important messages children can hear is that the alcoholism is not their fault. Here are the five strengths among others, of an adult children of alcoholics. And we are starting, right now. Hello, I'm Ned, and welcome to Uber Mind, the YouTube channel that educates you on your mental health and self-improvement journey. For more content just like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you are the first to be notified when there are new video released. Number 1. You can empathize. We're good listeners. Rather, we're exceptional listeners. We've spent so many years thinking about the feelings of others, before ourselves. That we're deeply talented at putting ourselves in other people's shoes. Our ability to empathize is a talent that makes us great friends, partners, co-workers, mothers, aunts. It also makes us great teachers, counselors, or professional advocates and more. It's also a great asset in negotiations. We're likely to speak up for the underdogs, who can't speak for themselves. Number 2. You're independent. Do you have issues with authority figures? So, be your own boss. Because we didn't think highly of the authority figures in charge of us for so many years. We've got lots of opinions about how to run things. And we hold our opinions about those things in high regard. And, of course, we tend to like to be in control. So, run things. We're well suited to be entrepreneurs, or to work in jobs where we might have bosses. But we work autonomously most of the time. Since we raised ourselves in many ways. And many of us took responsibility for raising the rest of our families too. We tend to be strong and often more able than others. We can handle hard work, paying our dues, and pushing our limits. We're good with our hands. Because we're strong. Number 3. You're creative. So many children of alcoholics go into the arts they're actors, writers, and painters. Our sensitivity to animals, to people in pain gives us a third eye and ear that allows us to see and hear the realities of the human condition. We're brave enough not to be scared off by the discomfort of raw emotions. Absurdity, intensity, or oddity, which allows it to inform creative work. Creativity and art also allow people to speak truthfully. Which is something that children of alcoholics didn't get many opportunities when growing up. Creating art contributes goodwill to society and it is also, by its very nature, an act of healing. Number 4. Your R-E-S-I-L-L-I-E-N-T. We are serviers. Not just that, but we clearly don't want to repeat the past. Which means we're doing much better than just surviving, which is the bare minimum. Rather, we're growing, healing, and redefining our futures. The definition of resilience is synonymous with children of alcoholics. Resilience, the ability to recover from insult or injury. In physics, resilience means the ability of a chemical or compound to successfully absorb a foreign or bad element and then purge it to recover. Sounds like us resilience is also a term used often in ecology study to describe how nature copes and revives itself. We're a lot like that. Our drive often stems from an unconscious urge to heal, to recover. To uncover our real self. Number 5. You're calm. Children of alcoholics would make great emergency room doctors, nurses, technicians, paramedics, or firefighters. We're hard to shock, and we can stay calm in the midst of chaos. 
It's hard to gross out the child of alcoholics. We've witnessed so much bizarre behavior that we're pretty tough folk. We're far from naive when it comes to what human beings are capable of. It's hard to see nervousness, shyness, anxiety, or fear in a person who's well wrapped. An accidental benefit of having pretended everything was okay. Which most of us did growing up in alcoholic families is that we can appear as if everything is okay. Now, this does obligate us to share ourselves more than we tend to, as well-wrapped people, so that we don't become isolated. You may need to remind your friends and loved ones that you're actually highly sensitive and emotional. In the workplace, a calm exterior is an asset. You can even learn to become that relaxed person you appear to be. So, was this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share with your friends, so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Also, be sure to check our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.